Hey everyone, welcome back. <coughs> this is my review of Attack on Titan episode 23, entitled Smile Raid on Stohes District Part 1. Oh boy. The probably, I don't know if I'd say it's the best episode in the series so far, um, but I definitely think it's one of the best. I don't know if it'd be, the, you know, I don't think it would be the best. I think the best, what would it be, like 22? No, 20, uh, 1, I think it was, when the female Titan basically kicked so much fucking ass. Yeah, I think that was 21. That'd probably be the best episode in the series so far for me. Maybe. But this is definitely up there, though. It was a great episode, and I'm excited, though, because after this, there's just two more episodes left. And this is actually special for me, because I'm reading the manga now, and, oh, I'm not caught up yet. Right before watching this episode, I... I actually read the chapter that this ep that, that this uh, episode takes place in. Um, chapter 31, I believe. So yeah, pretty much everything that happened in chapter 31 happened here. Uh, there, from what I heard, there was a little bit of filler, but I don't remember what I don't know what the filler was though, honestly. Yeah, but anyways, let's just get down with the description of what happened in this episode before, before we move on, alright. Annie has a dream of being trained by her father before waking up. Which, yeah, that scene, I think, I actually, that scene I don't think was in the chapter. I could be wrong, but I don't think that scene was in the chapter, so yeah, I think that might have been the filler. But... Still, though, that does help give a little bit more character development on Annie, you know, showing that she had this very uh, strict father with her training, but, of course, that's what made her the skilled warrior that she is today. That strictness, strictness that her father provided for her. In the Stohes district of Walsina, the military police are ordered to escort the Recon Corps convoy once they enter the capital. The, the military police are shown to be lazy and corrupt, with one of Annie's colleagues, Hitch, reve re reveals she joined the police for that reason. Another colleague, Marlowe, is disgusted, revealing he joined the police so he could reform it to become a better organization which Annie respects since she reminds her of Aaron. So yeah, I just want to talk about that for a really quick second, alright? Like, really, the, the military police for the most part are scumbags. Like, they really are. I mean, and when he speaks out of the line like you'd expect with any monarch, they beat the shit out of him, so... It's like, and really, from what I understand, these guys are supposed to be up... Uh, are supposed to have authority over the garrison. No. Uh-uh. Authority over Pixis? Fuck no. These guys? Hell, the garrison probably puts themselves in more fucking danger than the military police. That's just sad, really. Alright, but let's just move on here then. After the convoy has entered Stohes, Annie is secretly called by Armin in the alleyways. Armin asks for her to help as he is helping Aaron escape the capital as the one riding the convoy is actually Jean in disguise. She refuses at first, but after Armin begs again, <coughs> believing that she's a good person, she finally agrees. And that speech that Armin gave her about good and bad people, I thought was actually really good because, you know, he basically says that being a good or bad person is very subjective. It's just opinionated. However, you know, all that matters is what you are to an individual person. And if you refuse to help us, then you, you 
will be a bad person to me in this moment. Is what he basically says. So, yeah. Um, together with... Oh, and also, she, when, when she agrees, she does put on a ring, which is kind of another foreshadowing of what's going to happen at the end of this episode. Alright. Together with Annie, Mikasa, and Eren, and Armin leads them to an underground tunnel. However, Annie refuses to enter as she, as she has noticed Armin is behaving strangely, and there is a then there are hidden recon corpse members watching her. Armin finally revealed he suspects Annie is the female Titan since the maneuvered gear she had after. Sonny and Bean were killed as Marcos and the female Titan didn't kill him during the last expedition. Now, the thing about it being Marcos, I don't know how uh, Armin would have noticed the dents in Marcos gear since it didn't really seem like he was too close to Marco to know, realize it, but I don't know. I mean, Armin's a really smart dude, so maybe he just looked at Marco once and was able to remember it. I don't know, I just thought that that was really weird. Honestly. Alright. Uh, Aaron and Armin begs Annie to prove them wrong by following them, but knowing her identity is exposed, laugh, she laughs sadly and tries to transform. Despite the corpse attempts to stop her. She succeeds in transforming using the spike on her ring. So that's the so, so that was the purpose of the ring, and that's basically where this uh, episode ends. So yeah. <laughs> now there's a few things I have to say here. Uh, obviously, I read the chapter first, so going into this episode, I knew that I knew she was going to be the female Titan. Not to mention, I mean, people have been. I've already been spoiled to it anyways. But, here's the thing though, like people are saying, even if you're just an anime only watcher and you weren't spoiled to it at all, it's so obvious who the female titan was. Like, I don't, still don't see how the fuck it's obvious. Cause the only thing I can see is, okay, the female titan looks similar to Annie. Not exactly the same. Similar. Okay, so... That's the only thing before this episode. In this episode, there was there were definitely glaring hints, but before this episode, that was the only thing. All right, and you know, just because Armin saved or Annie spared Armin that one time, you know, it wasn't anything that that they were too close. It's just that she she even said in this episode that. She didn't think that he would prove to be this much of a threat. All right, or pu pu or push her this far. That's why. That's supposedly the only reason they spared her, or she spared him. Now there is a little bit hints in this episode that she might have a thing for Armin because she does say that, or we we do can tell that she definitely wanted to trust him. Is probably as much as he wanted to trust her. Alright, but before this episode, I just didn't see any glaring hints that it was Annie. I'm sorry. If you could point some out to me, I'll gladly eat my words, but I just couldn't see any. I'm sorry. But overall, I'll give this episode a good plus. It was definitely a good episode. Uh, not Definitely not the best in the series so far, but it was good, though. Alright, I just can't believe it was Annie. I mean, she hasn't got a whole lot of screen time in the series so far, but I still thought she was a really good side character, you know. She she was well, she's you know, she's one of those characters that's definitely definitely cool, calm and collected, and she's really skilled, you know, like she scored at the top ten despite joining the military police. Which joining the military police I would guess probably just was pro since she's a female titan, it's probably just a way for her to uh Get get closer inside the walls, you know, obviously. <laughs> and now she's finally transformed inside of there. My question is, how in the hell did she escape outside of the walls when they 
cornered her last time, though, since she was inside the walls with the military police, it seems kind of odd to me. But, anyways, though, overall, I think I'm gonna about wrap it up here. Only two episodes left in this season, and yeah. And also, I don't know what's gonna happen from here on out because I haven't read very far into chapter uh, 30. Or I haven't read very far into chapter 32 yet, which is right after this chapter, the last chapter, like the chapter where she is found out. I haven't read very far into 30, 32 yet, so I don't know what's going to happen in, in terms of major plot points from here on out. Well, I hope to find out soon, though. But yeah, anyways, overall, hope you enjoyed this review, guys. These after guys, thanks for watching. Bye bye.